Hi, I'm Kendall with Through the Trees, and today I'm going to uh, talk to you about and show you a little plant that you can usually find pretty close to home. Uh, it's called wood sorrel, and there are a lot of different species of wood sorrel. The one that I'm going to show you today is a yellow wood sorrel. So the wood sorrel, a lot of people will mistaken it as uh, clover, but it is a little different. So this is the wood sorrel. It has these sweet little heart-shaped leaves, three leaves, and each one has a little fold in the center. And you'll often find them um, actually folded right up. Sometimes in the full sun they'll do that. And they're a little bit of a lighter green than a lot of clovers that you find. They will take over my garden if I let them. Um, and so they are part of, there are hundreds of species of wood sorrel. This is a yellow wood sorrel or common yellow wood sorrel. Um, it's in the Oxalis genus. So again, lots of species within that genus. Here's some more over here. So the wood sorrel is actually pretty tasty. It's another name for it. A common name is uh, sour grass because it is sour. Um, but I'd say mildly sour. It has, you know, almost like this lemony taste and um, it's pretty good. It's just a little, you know, a little nibble. Um, when I'm out gardening, I'll, I'll eat some of it myself or my boys love to come and snack on it. And um, you can throw it in salads. You could put it in tea. However, if you were going to use it in tea, I wouldn't uh, like put it in boiling water because it would just break it down too much. The leaves are pretty fragile and you want to retain those nutrients in them. So you could put it in hot water, you know, water that hasn't been boiled and just has cooled a little bit. So it's not at boiling temperature anymore. Wood sorrel is high in vitamin C. And uh, another thing to keep in mind about it is that it does contain oxalic acid, which is something that you can find in, um, it is found in spinach and beets and beet greens. Um, and so in large quantities, it, what that means is that it's, it's an anti-nutrient oxalic acid. And so it would inhibit absorption of some minerals, uh, specifically calcium. So you just wouldn't want to eat a ton of it. Um, but as I mentioned, you know, we snack on it, we throw in salads, it would take large amounts of wood sorrel to, for, you know, for that to be a problem, just like with spinach or beets. Um, however, it's something to keep in mind uh, if you, you know, have um, any kind of illness that where foods with oxalic acid are something you need to watch out for. So, you know, things like if you're dealing with kidney stones or gout, um, things like that, you might want to not eat much of this. So that is yellow wood sorrel. I would look around in your... You know, if you have a flower garden, your lawn, and you might find it. And just keep in mind, it has these heart-shaped leaves, and there are three of them. And if you see the yellow flowers popping up, uh, they are also edible. Um, and they also have that kind of sour taste. They're really good. You can eat the seed pods when they come out. So any part of the plant. All right, enjoy.